What's driving markets? Welcome to Market Take. Each week, we'll bring you our insights on the latest markets and economic trends impacting investments. I'm your host Wei Li, Global Chief Investment Strategist at BlackRock, and this week I'll be discussing our take on the second quarter earnings season. Earnings have been largely stagnating, and this past quarter they came in better than fears. Specifically, I would note three things from this past earnings season. The first is margins. So heading into this season, I was paying very close attention to if companies are able to keep and maybe even grow their margins. And the answer is a surprising yes. It's surprising in the context of labor shortage and persistent wage pressure. And the reason that companies are able to grow their margin is because even though CPI, consumer price index, has been falling, PPI, producer price index, has been falling even faster. And the difference between CPI and PPI is positively correlated to margins, which is why U.S. companies were able to grow their margins even though inflation is coming down. But looking ahead, it is perhaps unrealistic to expect the gap, the wedge between CPI and PPI, to persist because they tend to be positively correlated with a bit of a lag. And furthermore, the headwinds, including the labor shortage, tight supply, and sustained wage growth, they're not going away. So we do expect the elevated margins levels to come under pressure in the coming quarters. The second point I would note from the past earnings season is dispersion and the importance of selectivity that came through very clearly in the earnings picture. So we have sectors that surprise on the upside, sectors that surprise on the downside, in a more dispersed way. And if I were to observe an overall trend, the sectors that have been surprising and contributing to earnings upside versus expectations are largely what you would call uh, the typical early cycle sectors like consumer discretionary, which in the context of labor shortage and greater share of the pie going to labor, that's not entirely surprising. But I think it also broadly supports, at least for now, a soft landing picture. If you look at the sectors driving upside surprise, uh, coming from what we would call the uh, early cycle sectors. I was also specifically paying close attention to if tech names were able to meet the very high bar as they came into the earning season. And of course, the bar was set very high because of the good performance that they staged in the first half of the year. And the answer is yes, they were able to beat even the very elevated uh, expectations. I find that, well, surprising, but also not surprising. And I'll tell you why. I find that surprising because um, we're at a very early stage of a large CAPEX cycle. There's a lot of spending needs, research and development, and yet these companies are able to still deliver positive uh, and strong earnings uh, uh, um, about reasonably strong earnings growth, especially versus expectation. But I'm not surprised, I guess, because I do like the AI theme, and I think we're still in the early innings of the AI theme, and more is to be expected. The third point I would note from this past earnings quarter is around regional nuance. So here, Europe versus the US. On an absolute level, U.S. earnings grew uh, while they contracted uh, mid to high single digits versus the second quarter last year. European equity earnings contracted high teens. Uh, so European equities contracted in terms of earnings twice as much as U.S. Uh, equity earnings this past quarter. And this explains why European equities were uh, underperforming versus U.S. equities. Partially explains that, at least. So all the uh, European exceptionalism at the beginning of the year, thanks to the energy crisis not transpiring, for example, while they are more than given back uh, at this point. For more details, read our weekly market commentary and go to blackrock.com forward uh, slash weekly hyphen commentary. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcasts.
This material is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, a recommendation or an offer or solicitation to purchase or sell any securities, funds or strategies to any person in any jurisdiction in which an offer, solicitation, purchase or sale would be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction. The opinions expressed are as of the date of publication and are subject to change without notice. Reliance upon information in this material is at the sole discretion of the listener. Investing involves risks. BlackRock does and may seek to do business with companies covered in this podcast. As a result, listeners should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of this podcast. For more information, visit blackrock.com forward slash the bid.